hello and welcome back. Last time we got uh, pretty hammered by an elite hammer guy and uh, I got completely team wiped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is my last hope. And hopefully, uh, this game is pretty hard. So I was kind of focusing a little bit uh, recently on like just getting stuff. But I need to refocus on actually I winning the fights. And not only winning the, the fights, but it's also me. using one-time use items just to have even the chance of winning the fight. Because currently I'm kind of struggling with these hammerers. So hopefully we're gonna be just fine. I don't want to go toward the elite squad. I just want to go toward this place. Also, I'm a little tempted to somehow ignore this elite squad. But I just go this way. And... Just like I <clears throat> I planned. If I can't take out the base squads, then what chance I have against the bosses? None. Okay, wait. He... Oh, man. <sighs> he needs to be on the position, too, to start stacking his armor, which... I really want him to do. Maybe we're just gonna go and activate the tankiness. He has 15 armor now. That's really good. Okay. Set fire to the Berserker. Heavy Flamethrower guy is dangerous. The Geomancer is dangerous. But the Berserker is kind of easy to reach. And also, Ordi has a lower R uh, HP. Oh, this has a pretty high armor. That's not gonna work so easily. Within flames. So he's going to die, which is excellent news. It's exactly what I wanted. One by one, life vanishes from this world. Does he have any movement abilities? I don't seem like it. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, he has shoot them the pace. You can slide them pretty well. Interrupt stances. Like this stance. Okay, uh, well, the problem here is that... Yeah, the hammer is really tanky. And I can't hit the Geomancer yet. We would need to hit the heavy flamethrower guy. And do a slap on him. Uh, we can slide back to get some mana. Rain of Fire. The problem with the Corrosive Cloud even though I picked it, is that if we can use it if we are playing position uh, 4, obviously. And yeah, they're just changing positions. He is going to die. Should he come later? Okay, let's just wait with the leech. Uh, we can't use the skeleton. Okay, this is 10 damage. This is by far not guaranteed. Impale this wretch! Seven. No, it's, that's not enough. We need to attack him. Whoa, what? Armor absorb! Oh shit! 
Oh yeah, that's that's correct. I didn't realize that his armor was so s strong. Okay. Uh, I'll maybe just go for a regular hit here. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Okay, that's double trigger. Oh, that's annoying. A ward would have been very useful against that. I just slide them. They're not boosted. Physical damage, interrupt stances. Uh, I just tried to take out the Geomancer. Uh, it's not gonna work. I need to just remove Have a the magic card. End, my friend. Uh, yeah, just get some heals. Uh, boost the Bride of Byratus. It's a little annoying. So he will die to the fire, guaranteed. We can proc the physical armor of this guy. Still have armor and resistance. Uh, I can slide back for extra mana. There's not much I can do here. Just a regular hit won't do too much. This is going to be resisted. If he try to have a warm end, my friend. Wait, He's gonna die. Come on. Stop shouting, mate. One more for the stockpiles. It's a little annoying. So can we take him out right now? Yeah, that's 15 pure damage. I can scream at him. 15 vigor. We can do 60 damage. But that's not good enough. Uh, there's not much the skeleton can do here. Okay, just slide back and get some mana. <clears throat> My will is Not everyone can do it. Obviously, last round. <clears throat> civilizations. Wow. Uh, that was still a pretty damn tough fight. <clears throat> so, you found some extra resources. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a bit of XP, a bit of mana, a bit of heals, and two level ups. But nothing exactly new. Just... No, not even level up. So we got this mummy guy, who is just uh, position 4 right now. Can he do anything here? Impending horror. He shuffles forward, deal... Uh, 10 stress damage to the chosen target enemy behind it and deal wait what's the difference here oh yeah it pushes it back and this ignores ward I don't know if I would like that I actually would like to uh, proc wards with it pushing back units might be interesting so and with this he actually gains uh, a ward which seems pretty damn good <clears throat> Uh, we gain some accuracy here. Yeah, if I get debuffs, but... I would need to put debuffs on myself, maybe? 
Okay, let's just go with impending misery. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. I don't know about this. Oh yeah, we also have blood curse, but I didn't use it this time. It was a tough fight. Admittedly. Uh, we can get a magic armor here. I'm not really using stress damage. Each time enemy receives a debuff, I can just go for magic armor. I kind of prefer that. That That's a good way to get accuracy as well. So maybe magic armor or accuracy. I mean, either kind of works. Reach debuff on the target. Yeah, I mean, that's both fine. What do I prefer? Doesn't matter. Let's go for more accuracy. Okay, Dark Knight. And the Dark Knight is in a pretty good spot. But uh, these two... Uh, they need to have a timeout. We're just gonna have one Dark Knight. I feel that's gonna be enough. I'm definitely gonna need one source of damage, at least. Uh, that's fine. And I don't have a position 2 here. Will I use a Banshee for it? Even a high level Banshee is a bit dodgy for it. I don't like it. That's not really the style I'm going for. The problem with like, okay, I take the Banshee and I feel like, oh, maybe that's gonna be fine. But it could be, it could be really not fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if we die, and that's, that's gonna be pretty bad. Yeah, that's just a heal. There's nothing we can do. I should try to get a vampire. One thing we should do is that look into what's gonna be the next challenge to the dungeon. It's gonna be dormant minions awaiting their time. Fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, team one, let's go in there. Uh, I think they are always level one, but I think I'm just gonna take the skeleton. And uh, I'm not familiar with those. Uh, not all of them. What is the ge Geomancer? And we got two uh, golems and one, I don't know, some Valkyrie? Big question mark. Can we give this guy a brain? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can give him a level 3 brain. Still doesn't make him super smart. So that's the lineup. Which is in the back. Uh, do I go for any kind of uh, boosts here? If no minions were killed in battle, all minions that took part in battle restore 50% bigger. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, well, it embellishes my well, the thing is, this helps you win the fight, but this helps you keep it up. I think, I think this, we gotta go for anything that helps win the fight. God damn it. I like this, but, you know, this could also be pointless because, you know, what if you lost 30% HP? You still gotta heal. Like, you just, you just can't go into another fight. So, this is only relevant if you win the fight with very minimal HP loss, or at least some uh, minions with very minimal HP loss. I don't think we're gonna use... Uh, any boosts here. Okay. Fine. Let's go. I mean... Seems decent. So we got uh, an elite oracle in the back. <clears throat> uh, we can just boost. Okay, that's a miss. Pretty nice. We can slide in. Sliding in, of course, just to proc the, the shield. 
this is pretty bad. I would need to use a flaming skull on the Geomancer. Have a warm end, my friend. Just to uh, go for the attack. <clears throat> now I can lower the damage of everybody. Okay. Mocking slap on the Geomancer. I think this just ignores the ward, so this doesn't really get me any closer. Face within flames. This is so damn close. Chest piercer. At least just make sure that if he sticks around. Recovers 14 vigor each turn. He's gonna die. Maybe not. Okay. Will he take damage first? Oh, he took the damage first, then he tried to heal. So he died. Pretty good. What is that? Tactical retreat? You can actually tactically retreat? <laughs> that would be nice to know. Instead of just dying? Sure, I mean, I guess we can start smacking them. I do like the sped up animation quite a bit, but even at 3, it's actually 3, I think, I thought that we were at 5, but let's just go with 2, because I don't see what's happening. I don't see the, like, it's written out, like, what was the problem, why it didn't work, and that's a problem. Okay, they're just healing up, which is just damn annoying. I think the Spine Bomb is the best against them. gonna stay in the front. Yeah, we gotta finish it off. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah. So there's a chance that we can stun them both. Yeah, they are resistant to uh, fire. So that's not gonna work. Yeah, she should still get boosted. I just took down, uh, just put down a spine Have bomb. A little tingle up your spine. Uh, I'll just make them deal less damage. Oh, they're immune, but they got debuffed. They're immune to stress, but not the lower damage. Down on, can we put down more bombs in the same Have spot? I don't think so. Tingle up your spine. Yeah, let's just boost her. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Very nice. 
Uh, we can just wait until she attacks. Yeah, I can't really do much here. I can do a uh, bone spear. It. Not be enough. And also, if I kill the f uh, one in the first position, we're gonna miss out on the bomb on the second position. <laughs> that hurts a lot. Oh, yeah, let's just go first time. Definitely. Uh, yeah, let's just buff. There's a chance that we can kill the first position one. But I think it's more reliable if we just uh, go for a swing here. Impale this wretch. Oh, man. Not much I can do. Absorb field will not work. Oh, not, not good. Definitely not good. Uh, I just proc. Well, the armors. Yeah. Okay, let's proc them both. Almost dead. I have no way to deal damage with her. Alright, this is good enough. Dead. Mine is the wind. Well, at least we didn't die. That's something. <laughs> oh, we got a one time use artifact. That's pretty nice. We managed to fish that. Okay, let's check the graveyard. Pull these guys out. They didn't learn too much. These guys are just kind of ready for a fight. Ah, oh, Dark Knight. Uh, maybe put in a skeleton. I need more types of units right now. God damn it, we still, still need that. I don't know if I want to go for upgrades. I, I think that might be too soon. Also, I shouldn't be forgetting about the, the vampire. I just need to get vampires that way, right? Uh, let's just see where we're heading. So it's going to be an ancient cop coffin filled with items. Uh, Battle Group 1 can do it. That's cool. That's questionable that's pretty good for a tank magical damage increased a dark collecting okay oh we can only have one it's fine. Maybe we're just gonna give it to the skeleton so he takes less damage. Oh, we know that he has a blue item and the skeleton has a purple item. That's cool. I guess we just have to head out and deal with some elites here. And for the elites, we need to use some uh, a one-time item. But which one? I don't have a lot of mana. Each enemy that's fled. <laughs> oh my god. Unlocks a secret iris spell. One time use. Eight mana per turn. Maybe let's now do that. I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. At the start of combat, all enemies lose one block and ward. But in order to take advantage of that, you need to know that the enemies are, have a block and ward. And that is not too hard to know. Those enemies seem 
doable maybe but it's definitely not gonna be an easy fight summons a basic shade until the end of the fight is that a good magic and where do I summon this uh, basic shade target minions next attack will be a critical hit I like the summon idea Choose an enemy, skips a turn, bosses are immune. Wraith receives one block and one board. Oh, this is decent. I can make the skeleton have 20 vigor, so... Just go with skeletons, I guess. What about this shade summon? Do I need a... Uh, space some some space for it can i just summon it wherever i have questions but i guess i won't get any answers i'm just gonna go and get the shade i don't know this is a tough fight battle squad one uh you guys can handle this no problem they may be undead but we are fighting for our lives here It comes before the Dark Knight. So annoying. What? <laughs> I need a way to proc. Doesn't stack. I need the fucking vampire. There's no one else I can hit with the fire other than this elite dwarven warrior. And we can proc two of their Impale this locks. Oh. Oh. oh, that's actually a pretty good way. To remove some blocks. What? What is that stance? All enemy minions? You know, there is a an attack that cancels stances. We need to get in we, we need to look into that because it seems like stances are pretty damn dangerous. And canceling them is gonna be extremely good but I don't think I have it right now yeah I guess I can stun him but we can't stun him summon a skeleton oh let's reanimate but would this mean that I, I kill one of my teammates, but then after that we get a skeleton instead? So I actually end the game with a skeleton? This elite hammer is a big problem. They, they are all elites. within flames I don't want to do a rain of fire let's wait okay well I can just uh, shout at them that's something I guess What do you mean invalid target? Wait. You cannot do it on yourself? You have to actually give this to someone else? Holy shit, we can boost, boost Dark Knight? I didn't realize this, that's how it works. 
I am worthy. Ah, I didn't realize this. So this is actually better because the Dark Knight is awesome, but he sucks. He can also boost himself, of course. But uh, boosting the Dark Knight is so much better. Okay. This never gets old. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Loses all armor and resistance. And takes stress damage. I can summon a skeleton. Let's do that. No, no, no. We are summoning a skeleton here. They all have so many crazy this wretch. <sighs> boards on them and blocks and so we can summon a skeleton. Wait, is this like a like full on tall normal skeleton? It is. It is just a totally normal skeleton. Holy shit, this is really strong. Of course. It has a disadvantage of like, yeah, I mean, one of you guys died. Uh, I think we have to wait. Wait, why can I use the show them the, their place? This interrupts stances. Why doesn't it work? Uh, vanishes at the end of battle. That's a bit of a bummer. But I think considering it's not too unrealistic. What is this shit? Geomaster. And why do they all have like all the craziest blocks? What the fuck? I can't. I can't deal with this. Should we take out the Elite Hammer or the Elite Geomancer? They are both amazingly strong. And the Elite Oracle just gives them invincibility. Uh, I don't know what to do. We can kill this guy. I think we can send the lich in the back. Strength through pain. Yeah, I don't really want to ignite people here. I can deal magic damage, but that's not gonna do anything because of the fucking blocks. We just need to. Well, this kind of shows that you need a way to proc. Multiple enemies just deal a lot of small damage. Who's gonna come next? Either is fine. Wait, he's immune? Why is he immune? I think we're just gonna slide back. Oh, they get regen too. Let's fuck yeah. I just brought their block. Break that bones. They don't have a stance right now. I can just go for smite. I would like to kill at least one of them. Can 
make that a thing. What is this shit? Stop. Oh, yeah, we need to uh, disrupt that stance. That's what I'm w was waiting for all this time. Impale this wretch. Let's make it a thing. Yeah, I think we can do it. <sighs> okay, well, this would most likely be a waste of effort. And I can boost the skeletons for some reason. Maybe we're gonna boost him. Yeah, I don't know. We can just uh, shout that. Yes. Sure. So we're gonna go in, interrupt this stance, hopefully. And it worked! He went for the same stance. And can we interact interrupt it again? We have to wait. Maybe boost this guy up. And now he goes in for a big big slide attack. No 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 no. Okay, we got this guy. Sure. Impale this wrench. Okay. And just go for a regular attack. What the shit? Oh my god. Oh, they're all invincible. Feels like... I think taking out the Oracle would be the most sensible option. We need to rush in to interrupt the stance. It worked, even though it was a block. Impale this wretch. Let me just take him out. My kingdom comes. They're so tanky. Ah, okay. Which one is the summoned one? This one is the summoned one. <laughs> I should pay attention to that because one of them is gonna be uh, best, best, you know, it would be best if we kept it at the end of the round. Lich actually has a pretty good summon here. Uh, let's just buff the selected ally. No! Stop! Stop! Would you fucking stop? Stop! No! No! Elite Oracle is total bullshit. Is he doing a stance? No. That's not really worth it, I feel like. Ooh, hope there will still be the Elite Oracle just needs made. to be taken out because if you don't, then nothing ever dies. Impale this wretch. But I can't reach it, because I only got melee dudes. Ignores armor. Even if it didn't ignore armor, like... I can't hit the elite hammerer because he's too tanky. Okay, we can slide down. Just to hit the Elite Oracle. The Geomancer seems like the weakest choice here. The most vulnerable one. No, no more marks. I don't like that. We need to interrupt that stance. Somehow. Oh 
Oh man. I also kind of want someone to maybe run away and become a vampire. But that's just being greedy. This could be so bad. I, I want the kill to happen right now. Okay, fine. We can wait with this. I just tried to kill the elite geomancer. That's not the one I clicked on. Or maybe I did, but that's not what I intended to click on. Oh yeah, just shout on everybody. It won't work. It's not not an attack. It's just a support skill. Ah, uh, that's fine. So we need to interrupt that stance for sure. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna kill you like that. He's doing the stance again. We have to rush in to stop it. What? Oh, we cannot target him if he's at the bottom two positions. Fate within flames. This needs to happen. Very tricky fights. Any damage received is doubled? Holy shit. Mark is no joke. Elite Geomancer. Can we just take him out? I don't think so. He's doing the stance again. Wow. Big believer. Let me give up on the stance. Can we just take him out? Clicked on the wrong guy again. So this guy's gonna rush in, disrupt the stance. Impale this wretch. This should be decent. One less annoyance in the world. Fine. Let's go for a regular hit. We need to disrupt the stance. Oh, he just heals himself. That's fine. <laughs> totally cool. No big deal. Can I make him a vampire? I don't think I don't think that's gonna work. He's not gonna run away. Oh, we'll escape at the beginning of next turn. Crimson hunger. Okay. Well, hopefully you're gonna run away for sure. We can sacrifice this guy to gain uh Vanishes at the end of the battle, so we can use that to gain some heals. More will come. He next. Uh, let's just go and gain some mana. He ran away, but apparently he's a vampire, and we got a vampire. Pretty fucking good. I got epic armor. I don't know if they run away. I actually get their stuff. But getting a vampire is so much better. Fuck yeah! We got a new guy! Uh, only one of them got healed in the graveyard? What happened there? Why only one? Grave a vampire! Can we... Okay. Can I make vampires now? 
Or is this the only way to make vampires? Oh, no, no. We can make vampires, but this is how we make vampires in the first place. So, I can make this vampire just transition into some uh, graveyard boost. <laughs> I don't know. I, but we're not gonna do that. This vampire is just too good. Right? Physical attack deals uh, 24 damage. Pretty good. Uh, physical stats? Pretty bad. But it does have one block and one ward. And average initiative. So, average damage seems good. A critical hit will deal 200% damage. But the critical hit chance is pretty low. So, uh, not the best. A critical hit will stun the target for one turn. In addition to dealing uh, more damage. Uh, that seems better. Although he doesn't have a way to... Well, that's just a basic attack. Uh, physical attack deals... Uh, pff, fine damage. That's just straight up worse. Oh, no, no. It's not straight up worse. Because we can use it from any spot. Uh, to hit the back. Okay, fine. Physical attack deals uh, less damage to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind that. So that's like 24 damage to two targets and you move back. And this is just like dealing full damage to it. Okay, so... I think that I prefer the returning strike if we're going for that. So this minion can be used from any direct any any position, but not super effectively. It's relatively effective. Support Iratus gains 40 Vrat. Vampire loses 20 vigor. Uh, okay. Iratus gains 20 Vrat and 10 mana. Vampire loses 20 vigor. But does the vampire have a way to gain health? Magic attack. The target loses. 30% of its current vigor. Boss is only 15. What? The vampire loses uh, 30 vigor. Of its current vigor. So max HP. <sighs> I don't think that's worth it. We would need to have some way to really gain a lot of health. So with this we lose a little bit less vigor. And with this... Wow, target loses a shit ton of vigor. And gains 50% damage until the battle ends. The vampire loses 30 vigor and it this ignores ward. Oh man. Debuff. All enemies, all attacks against uh, the target ignore both block and ward until the battle ends. The vampire loses 10 vigor, ignores block and ward. What about the lifesteal? Isn't this guy supposed to lifesteal? Is that the ultimate buff? Only Until I the end of the battle, the vampire recovers vigor equal to 50% of the physical damage that it inflicts. Doesn't spend an action. Doesn't stack. Okay, very cool. So, that's how we heal. And that kind of enables the other vigor-based abilities. But these are the cores. The physical attacks. Can we make this vampire not dumb as shit? Let's see if that's a po possibility. Do we have a brain for this vampire? We do have a level 4 brain. 40 IQ. How, how's the, how does that sound? You're gonna love that. So... I mean... This is not great. We can just chill in the back. I think returning strike is just uh, pretty good. Oz this deals 24 damage to two targets. And this deals 24 tar damage to one target. Right? Plus a little bit more. But like, to one target that seems pretty good. That's better, although initiative is kind of useful. Vampire loses 20 vigor. Okay, fine. This is a good way to... This is a better way to proc. Uh, just uh, remove... Uh, blocks. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna go for that. I mean, that's fine. I mean, the, the vampire will has a chance to stun. This makes us go back. I Rattus gains 20 rats, and the vampire loses 20 vigor. So, this actually sets up the ultimate. And 10 mana. This just sets up the ultimate. This is not something we can do late. So, Hypnosis might be okay. Hysteria. Magic attack. The target loses 30% of its current vigor. Vampire loses 30 vigor. And I think I prefer the vampire loses 20 vigor and the target loses 30% uh, of its current vigor. But it could be really bad because, you know, you let's just say that you target a guy that has 150 HP, which is kind of realistic right now. So then we deal 45 damage with this rage. But at the same time, also it's got to keep in mind that this is something that you use from the back locations. So, the the vampire is actually something that uh, gets used in the back uh, pretty effectively. But yeah, you deal like 45 damage to like a full HP unit. And uh, I guess it makes sense because you can just lifesteal. But if you're not gonna do that... And you need to watch your health anyway, then, you know, why not just go for, like, a pretty big attack? Because this is percentage-based, and I guess that's gonna scale, but, like, this is gonna scale with damage. And we can just go for this. Ignores ward. I think we have to go for that. Hmm. Am I in the mood for terror or lethality? So even though, like, this gives us fixed health, I think it's a lot better to go for the attack because we're just gonna attack people all the fucking time so i think we gotta go for returning strike uh blood strike is gonna be the main attack and uh we're gonna go for returning strike berserk just because only because this, this drops them by a lot, and this might be even better, because although it makes them take, makes them deal more damage, but this sets up a massive uh, murder. Like, imagine like we just do like 75 damage, and like something just drops like a rock, and like, okay. I think Berserk is the way to go, mainly because it also gives us free attack, which is gonna help with the efficiency. Get back to battle. So we deal now 30 average damage. And that's that's how we're gonna lifesteal as well. We can gain uh what is this? All attacks against uh, the target ignore both block and ward until the battle ends. A vampire loses 10 vigor, ignores block and ward. Ignores block and ward, target loses 10 evasion for free turns, <clears throat> and here target loses 20 accuracy for free turns. That is a pretty good debuff, but makes the vampire go back. No, yeah, go 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 forward. Uh, okay, interesting. I don't think we really need to use that. This seems good, so... Until the end of the battle, the vampire recovers vigor equal to 65% of the physical damage that it inflicts. Doesn't spend an action, doesn't stack. Okay. Until the end of the battle, the vampire recovers vigor equal to 50% of the physical damage it inflicts, doesn't spend an action, doesn't stack, critical hit deals 50% more damage. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think the, just the straight up, more lifesteal is the best. Block and board. I don't really plan on using most of these, but at the same time, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna use. I think I'm just gonna slide back if I get to the front. Because uh, the vampire is not super tanky. And the chance of stun is just better. So tough. Vampire loses 20 vigor. Sure. We can just start with hypnosis into, My undead tools into blood thirst. Deadlier. 
Like that's that's decent, actually. And we can some get some extra health. And he's probably gonna act pretty soon. Like 3% luck is a little bit meh. 3% uh, 5% evasion. 10% accuracy is a lot more interesting. So I think we're just gonna go for that. If we are taking uh something, I think that's gonna be it. If I just want 50 rats. 10% accuracy is like a little meh, but it's 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 good. Target loses uh, 20 accuracy. This only, but the thing is, this doesn't only cost us 10 vigor. This costs us 10 10 vigor, plus the damage we would have dealt with the regular attack, plus the heal it would have uh, given us. So like this gives us 30 damage, plus 65% uh, of that is a heal. So this is a 50 point swing. Can you really justify? What can you do that actually just competes with that? Right? Not much. Critical hit will deal. We can we can decide on that later. Uh, this one seems pretty obvious that we just want the vigor here. Uh, just go for health. Serve me well, my. And the vampire is going to be a pretty good option for uh, the back row. I don't know about the Lich. I mean, it was pretty good, you know? I I'm kind of warming up to the Lich quite a bit. I kind of understand it now. It can be also used as position 3, but I'm mostly using it as position 4. Ignores Ward. Uh, two random... No, 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 no. We just maybe ignore Ward. I don't like that. Lich and all allies gain 60 Vigor when you kill an ally. So this is most for, mostly for very tough fights. Is this an ultimate? Why are we not having the chance to upgrade it? I read this games. Yeah, I mean, this is for tough fights. So we make a skeleton. Summon a skeleton? Wow. <gasps> Cheap bodies. Summons a skeleton. Summons a skeleton. Summons a skeleton. The summoned minion gains 12 attack and 12 dread until the bell lands. I suspect that this gives me the skeleton permanently and this gives me the skeleton that actually kicks ass. Okay, let's just go for when we... Oh, this also gives me the ward. Oh, that's, that's good. I think ward is nice, so maybe we just go for that. Extra ward. And uh, yeah, that's pretty situational. Let, let's go for I that. I expect results. And uh, we have a chance to also put a talent. Let's summon a basic shade until the end of the fight. I suspect that takes up a spot, right? It must. There's no way, like, oh, it's fifth position shade, no problem. It takes up a spot for sure. But I don't know. I, I don't know actually for sure. All minions and enemies uh, gain 10 luck until the battle lands. Dark Knights receive 5 attack and 5 dread and 5 luck. Yeah, I like the Dark Knights quite a bit. Marked enemy on. Mark an enemy until the end of uh, the battle ends. If marked enemy is killed, Iratus gains an additional free common parts after the battle doesn't stack. So, for 30 mana. And this allows me to deal double damage to that enemy. All units recover full vigor, but that cost me 80 mana. That's quite a bit. At the start of its uh, turn, a minion restores... Uh, 8 Vigor if Iratus has at least uh, 75 rats. I mean, that seems pretty fucking good. Force a sanity check on the target with an increased 50% uh, chance of causing insanity. Ignores ward. Huh. What is this? If Iratus has 100 rats, all spells cost 10 uh, mana less. Yeah, but like. That's the difference between having 25 uh, extra rats, or 70, or just 100. Because at 70, uh, at, at 100, you're you're just wasting rat for sure. 
I don't know what to go for here. I kind of want to go for the... The summon. But I feel like it's going to be useless. But it might be useful in a, like, a very, very tough fight. That's actually already super dumb. I don't know what to go for here. Anyway. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And we need to set this up. I got my first vampire, finally. And I that's, that's a position four. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so many choices. Uh, see you guys.